welcome back guys Icarus is a play versus environment survival game features a big open world for us to explore and endure it's a very demanding title in this video I'll be testing it on my ROG Ally running on Windows and Steam Deck running on SteamOS we'll be showing you how to enable FSR version 3.1.2 frame generation using Nitex free OptiScaler mod we'll also show you how to use AMD's anti-lag 2 tech in conjunction with OptiScaler mod anti-lag 2 helps in reducing the latency we can use it even without FSR frame generation. In order to get anti-lag 2 working on ROG Ally, you need to download AMD's GPU driver, Adrenaline version 24.7.1 or anything newer than that. I have installed AMD's latest preview GPU driver that supports Dragon Age the Veilguard. Unfortunately, anti-lag 2 does not work on the Linux-based SteamOS. Instead of anti-lag 2, latency flex will work. It's an agnostic solution. It does a good job of reducing the latency on Steam Deck. First, I'll show you the OptiScaler mod setup on Windows. We'll be using this version of OptiScaler 0.7 Preview 36. Version 0.7 and newer builds support Anti-Lag 2. Scroll down until you find the set section. Expand it. Click on .7z link. We'll be adding Anti-Lag support to OptiScaler using fake Mikaus, fake NV API. I'll give the link to this website in the description. Version 1.2. Expand asset section. Click on fake NV API.7z. First, I'll show you the setup process for OptiScaler. Open its archive file. Open DLSS overrides folder. Execute this registry file. Run. Now we will be able to load the custom NV and GX.dll file. Copy the files present in this archive file. Don't need to copy these two folders. Paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, browse local files. Open Icarus folder. Open binaries folder. Open Win64 folder. Paste the files here. This is the game's main exe file. Okay, now we need to rename nvngx.dll file to dxgi.dll. Right click, show more options, rename dxgi. Now open the games install directory again. Open engine folder, open plugins folder, open runtime folder, open NVIDIA folder, open DLSS folder, open binaries folder, third party folder, Win64 folder. There's the DLL file we are looking for. Copy it. NVNGX underscore DLSS. Paste it in the games directory where you pasted the mod files. Backtracking directory is already open yeah this is the directory mod files paste the dlss dll file here change its name to nvngx.dll now this game will exhibit some graphical artifacts like disco lights after enabling optiscaler mod I'll show you the fix for it. Open nvngx.ini file. Click on edit here. Click on find. Just type color C O L O R. Hit enter. Enter again. Look for this line of text color resource barrier. You need to set it to 4. It is set to auto by default. This game uses Unreal Engine 4. This is why this fix is required. It's even mentioned here for UE engine games on AMD now I'll be installing fake Mikaus fake NV API open its archive file copy the two files present inside this archive file paste them in the directory where you pasted the mod files right here now open OptiScaler's NV and GX.ini file scroll down until you find this section NV API Override NV API DLL is set to auto by default. Just set it to true. That's it. Anti lag 2 will work now. Click on file, click on save. We are ready to run the game. For this game, I've set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. My ally is running on BIOS version 441. Using a 30 watts manual profile. All three power values set at 30 watts. 720p resolution, CPU boost disabled. Connected my Gully Kit KK3 Max Gamepad to Ally via Bluetooth mode. Adrenaline settings for the game. Free sync and V sync enabled. That's it. 
I am using a community based controller layout for this game just click on the controller icon here this one Icarus Xbox One controller uploaded by Royal Mercenary very important you need to select the DirectX 12 version of the game otherwise OptiScaler frame generation won't work <laughs> recommended only for NVIDIA 3070 or better GPUs make sure no third party overlay like Afterburner or RTSS is running in the background otherwise mod may not work properly in game settings display mode full screen resolution 720p vsync off motion blur disable use the low preset texture streaming pool size set to 2000 DLSS setting yeah we have access to it all thanks to the mod reflex low latency setting enable Super resolution set to quality. Retracing off, of course. Don't want to kill raw <laughs> galai. Now I'll open OptiScaler settings. It's menu, just press the insert keyboard key. From this drop down bar, we can select the upscaler FSR 3.x. I'm using XCSS. This is its version 1.3.1. Frame generation settings disabled for the time being. Fake. NV API section is present here. Close. You can play the game in co op mode with up to 8 players. I'll just play it solo. Private server. We are in thick foliage here. FPS is around 37, hitting the GP bottleneck. I've enabled anti lag to latency monitor to show you the real time values of latency 60 to 70 milliseconds. Latency value is inversely proportional to the FPS. Higher the FPS, lower the latency. It's as simple as that. I'll just craft an item, a stone axe, I have enough resources, there it is, craft. Now I'll enable frame generation, equip my axe, press the insert key, frame generation on. Frame generation on, close, back to the game. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. See, that choppiness is gone now. Frame generation is definitely working. Very easy to tell this. Game's HUD elements are also flickering as expected. As I have not enabled HUD fix setting yet. Not a big increase in latency value. 70 to 75. 8 to 10 millisecond increase in latency value after enabling frame generation so anti lag 2 is doing a good job you can see the real world input delay i'll show you how to fix this broken hard issue first i'll show you the debug view on you can see in the bottom middle image hard elements are displayed this means these hard elements will flicker after enabling optiscalar frame generation just enable FG hotfix setting and set the limit value to 2 extended setting disable check the debug view see those HUD elements are gone now now HUD elements should not flicker after we enable frame generation oh no there is a wool quickly close the debug view <laughs> this can happen need to equip my axe defend myself as you can see, hard elements are not flickering now. It's going on. Missing my shots. It's dead. Dynamic, well, beg your pardon. Game has a dynamic weather cycle. Image quality is looking decent. I'll just switch to a third person mode. Switch to Steam Deck. This is Steam was running in desktop mode. Now I'll show you. OptiScaler mod setup for this game. Download the build 0.7, preview 36, expand asset section, click on the dot 7g link, download version 1.2 of fake NV API. We'll be using it to enable latency flex. Expand asset section, click on the dot 7g link. Now open Dolphin File Explorer, go to downloads. Here you'll find the two archive files that you downloaded earlier. 
I have transferred them to this folder Acres. You can name it anything you want. First, I'll be installing OptiScaler mod. Open its archive file. Extract its contents. Select all of the files present inside this archive file. Drag and drop them outside of this archive file like this. Process complete. Now just select the mod files. Don't need to select the folders and archive files. These files. Highlighting them. Copy. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click. Manage. Browse local files. Open Icarus folder. Open binaries folder. Open Win64 folder. Paste the mod files here. Change the name of nvngx.tll file to txgi.tll Now open the games install directory again Need to find the nvngx underscore tlss file Open engine folder Open plugins folder Runtime, nvidia, dlss, binaries, third party, win64 There's the file, copy Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the mod files Games install directory, Icarus folder, binaries, win64, this is the final directory. Need to change its name to nvngx.tll. Now open nvngx.ini file. Look for the color barriers line. Find color. There it is. Change its value from auto to 4. Click on save. Need to execute the mods registry file. Open DLSS overrides folder. Copy this file. Enable signature override. Paste it on a desktop. Paste. I'll be executing it using Proton Tricks. You can download it for free from Discover Store. There's a Chris. Double click. Wait for the next window to pop up. Check this option, select the default fine picks, click on OK. Check this option, run regedit. Click OK. This window will pop up, click on registry here, then click on import registry file. Just navigate to the desktop. Open desktop folder. Execute this registry file, enable signature override. OK. That's it. Close. Need to add a launch option to the game for OptiScaler to work. Select the game in your Steam library, click on the settings cog here, click on properties, click on general, under launch option, add this line of text, I'll provide it in the description of the video. Compatibility using G Proton version 9-16 as the compatibility layer. Now I'll install fake NV API, open its archive file, extract the two files, drag and drop them outside of this archive file, copy. Paste them in the games install directory where you pasted the previous mod files. Icarus binaries win64 right here. Now open nvngx.ini file. Click on edit, click on find. Just type nv api. Hit enter. There's the nv api section. Override nv api dll. Is set to auto by default, just set it to true. Click on save, close. We are ready to run the game. Connect it my Cosmic Pastel Alice Gamepad to Steam Deck via Bluetooth mode. Select the DirectX 12 version of the game. This is the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Display supports up to 60 hertz refresh rate only. OLED level set to 2. Refresh rate set to 60. Disable frame limit and a lot of settings enabled. Uncap the FPS in game settings 720p resolution VSync off motion blur disabled low preset texture streaming pools are set to 2000 here yeah, we have access to TLSS setting this game actually supports TLSS frame generation but I was not able to get TLSS enabler mod working to replace TLSS frame generation setting with FSR frame generation that's why I'm using OptiScaler Using the performance preset of DLSS subscaler, reflex enabled as well. Now I'll open OptiScaler mod menu, press the insert keyboard key. If you don't have a keyboard, you can just map the insert key to any of Steam Deck's back grip buttons. 
from this drop down bar select the upscaler FSR 3.x its version 3.1.2 frame generation disabled for the time being fake NV API section enable force latency flex setting from here using its conservative mode click on apply close we are in here FPS is within a range of 30 to 36 almost hitting the GP bottleneck thick foliage here this game is very demanding won't be getting the ideal experience when using frame generation with the base FPS of 30 I'll just enable it now weather event incoming open OptiScaler menu enable frame generation back to the game the yeah, FPS increased to around 50 frame generation is working can observe the added amount of smoothness but the HUD elements are flickering as well as expected as I have not enabled the FG HUD fix setting show you the debug view on FG HUD fix setting enabled as well limit value set to 2 extended setting disabled here in the bottom middle image no HUD elements are visible HUD element should not flicker now with frame generation enabled disable the HUD fix view back to the game the HUD elements have stopped flickering now frame generation smoothing effect is still working so good to see OptiScale mod working even on Steam OS. This is with latency flex. That's it for the video guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.